a warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Adamcha. A Chinese national suspected to have been infected by the coronavirus in Lagos has tested negative to the infection. The unidentified man was admitted at Reddington Hospital in Kedja on Wednesday after showing symptoms of the ailment. In a statement on Thursday, the Lagos State Commissioner for Health, Anthony Abayomi, said the likelihood of COVID-19 infection in this particular patient was very low and the conclusion of investigations and sophisticated testing confirms that there is no case of coronavirus in Lagos State as of now. The death recorded from the latter fever outbreak in Nigeria has reached 118. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has disclosed from January 1st to February 23rd, 2,633 uh, suspected cases with 689 confirmed cases and 118 deaths have been recorded in the country. In the reporting week, NCDC said the, new, the number of new confirmed cases decreased from 115 cases from the previous week to 102 cases. Also, four health workers were newly infected in Edo and Ondo State bringing the total number of infected health workers to 20. An unnamed corporal in the Nigerian army serving in Bornu State on Wednesday opened fire on four of his colleagues, killing them in the process before turning the gun to himself. Sajir Musa, spokesperson for the Nigerian army, confirmed the development. According to Musa, the soldier who also injured two other soldiers was serving at the theater command operation Lafia Adole Camp 15, located at Malam Fatori, a border community. Musa added that investigation into the case has since been instituted to determine the circumstances that led to the unfortunate incident. Police in River State say they have uncovered an illegal orphanage suspected to be a child trafficking facility in Portakot, the state capital. The orphanage, known as a Tender Life Foundation Initiative, Located in the Oibo area of the state, was raided by men of the command on Tuesday. All the occupants, including babies and expectant mothers, were reportedly rescued. Parading the rescued occupants before journalists, spokesperson of the police command, Nandi Omoni, a deputy superintendent, said 25 children and four expectant mothers were rescued during the operation, adding that the operator was equally apprehended. The federal government says it has spent a total sum of 2.1 trillion naira to service the country's debt obligations to local and foreign debtors between January and December 2019. This was contained in the 2019 Consolidated Financial Statement of the government, which was prepared by the Office of the Accountants General of the Federation. The 2.11 trillion naira spent to service the country's debt is 64.06 billion naira or 2.99% less than the 2.14 trillion approved in the 2019 federal government budget. Tunisia's new coalition government has won a vote of confidence in the parliament and in weeks of political crisis in the North African country. After more than 14 hours of debate, members of parliament voted 129 to 77 with one abstention in favor of the new cabinet lineup. President Kai Said had threatened to dissolve parliament and call for early elections if the confidence notion was lost. But despite winning the confidence vote, Pres uh, Kav Kav's new government faces an uphill task in reviving Tunisia's economy and tackling high unemployment. The Nigeria Football Federation has expressed grief over the death of Canopilla's team manager, Kabiru Balera. Valera died on Tuesday after a brief illness. In a condolence message posted on the NFF official Twitter handle, the Federation prayed for the repose of the soul of the disease. Valera started his playing career with Works Golden Star FC in Kano in 1987 before joining El Kanemi Warriors in Maiduguri in 1990. He last played for Kano Pillars in 1997 before he retired as a player. And as the latest from the newsroom, many thanks for joining us. Bye for now.